Heidi was helping Clara to try to stand when Mr. Sessman returned and met Heidi for the first time. When Miss Rottenmeier told him about Heidi's mischief, Mr. Sessman considered sending the little girl home. Clara snuck out to buy her father a present so he wouldn't ask her friend to leave. When they went looking for Clara, Heidi and Mr. Sessman saw her stand for the first time. Heidi is the best thing that happened to Clara in a long time, and her place is here with us. And this is how the Maharaja Dajnipur served me tea when I was in India two years ago. Oh, where is India? Is it far from Frankfurt? <laughs> India is very far away. It takes more than two weeks to go there on a train. But why would you go there? Papa has been to places you wouldn't believe. <laughs> You're making fun of me. There is no such place that far away. And why would you go there when the mountains around Darfli are so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> you are quite right, Heidi. Sometimes I wonder why I travel so far away from my dear Clara. You have to work, Papa. I understand. I am sorry I have to leave again tomorrow, Clara, darling. I wish I could stay longer this time. I know, Papa. Me too. But I promise this trip won't be too long and Grandmama should arrive any day now. She will keep you and Heidi company. <gasps> Miss Rottenmeier? <laughs> Miss Rottenmeier, are you all right? Oh, oh, mouse droppings. I found mouse droppings in my shoes. Sebastian, Dete, go and find this creature. Get rid of it. Yes, Miss. Clara! Adelaide! Don't tell me you're having breakfast in your nightgowns. This is not how young ladies behave. Don't worry, miss. I'll take Clara upstairs to dress immediately. Just take a minute to recover from your rodent encounter, will you? Are you ready, Adelaide? What are you doing with that suitcase? It's where I keep my dress, miss. We have wardrobes for that, Adelaide. Now hurry, we have a visitor. Is it Grandmama Sesame? Oh, it's someone far more important, Adelaide. Be quick. <gasps> That's quite impressive, Miss Clara. It's thanks to Heidi. Since she's arrived, I feel much better. I would like you to teach Heidi too, Mr. Backer. She is Detta's niece. <laughs> we'll leave you to it, Mr. Backer. I think you have enough on your plate without us breathing down your neck. That's very kind of you, sir. Hmm. What is your level of writing, young lady? Um. I never went to school, sir. You at least know how to write your name, surely. Try to write your name. Do you need ink if you want to write? Mm. <laughs> oh, I said write your name, not draw a picture. <gasps> oh. Excuse me for a minute. Oh. Oh. What happened, Mr. Backer? A stupid accident. 
<laughs> Don't you have anything to attend to? I'll check the cellar for the mouse. Oh, a mouse? Oh, I hate those creatures. Oh. Uh, uh, did you have a nice summer, Dede? Yes. Well, with Heidi here now, I didn't see the summer pass. Your niece is... <sighs> she can be a handful, I know. <laughs> I could see that. I was wondering, Dede, I have two tickets for the opera next week. Would you like to join me? Oh, oh, the opera. Oh, I, I don't know if... I'll make sure Miss Rottenmeier gives you some time off. We could talk about this delightful niece of yours. See how we could improve her education. Oh, well, yes. I think I could. Hmm. It's not... I'm sure you love the opera, Dede. We'll have the most delightful night out. Miss Clara, I am sorry to start with this, but as Heidi is a new pupil, there might be a few rules she's not accustomed to. Yes, Mr. Backer. I will come here every morning for a two-hour class. You will also have some homework to do that I will correct and mark to see how you progress over time. I would normally insist on you writing with an ink pen, but as we both know now, we might have to wait for that. In the meantime, you'll write with a pencil. <laughs> now, my name is Mr. Backer. Can you spell it for me, Heidi? Um, b ba ba k. You don't know your alphabet? Is it a big fat animal with a long trunk? Ugh. Alphabet, not elephant. <clears throat> Don't stop your work. Enough! I will not tolerate you interrupting Miss Clara's class like this. Oh. I am sorry, but this can't work. This is too disturbing for Miss Clara. She can't work properly. And Heidi cannot sit still for more than a couple of minutes. I understand they need some time to adjust. This is the very first day of school for oh, Heidi. By the time she adjusts, I'm afraid Miss Clara will have lost precious time. Maybe Mr. Backer could give them separate classes. That could be a reasonable solution. <gasps> they can't separate us. I wouldn't separate them unless it is absolutely necessary. Heidi has such a good impact on Clara. Please, Mr. Backer. Would you agree to give Clara and Heidi another class tomorrow, before we decide? Mr. Sesaman, think about Clara. She needs to learn without distraction. I think about her, Miss Rottenmeier. Heidi brought a smile to her face, and I'm not jeopardizing that unless there is no other solution. So, Mr. Backer, what do you say? I could try, sir. But if Heidi still doesn't behave... Then they'll have separate classes. Will you stay for lunch? Of course, sir. And if you'll allow me, I'd like to stay this afternoon to prepare tomorrow's class, too. Please do, Mr. Backer. I'll tell Detta. <gasps> so, Detta, are you going to the opera with Mr. Backer? He was kind enough to invite me. And he has a good education. I must admit, it would be good to feel like a proper lady, at least once. So maybe... Did you find <sighs> that miserable creature? Uh, not yet, miss. Well, drop the search for the moment. It's time to get ready for lunch. Oh, and Mr. Backer will eat with us. Of course, miss.
right. We need to be ready for tomorrow's class with Mr. Backer. Do we really have to go? Yes, and we'll show him that you can be a very good student. But I don't know my alphabet and I can't sit down for that long. Is there ever a time in the mountains where you just have to stay still? Mm, yes, when I watch the marmots. They're so sensitive that any movement scares them into their hole. Well, that's it. Mr. Backer is a marmot. <laughs> Mr. Backer. A marmot. Mm -hmm. You have to imagine that Mr. Backer is a marmot. And when you're with him, you have to stay still so he doesn't run into his hole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice. Now you stay still. <laughs> That's not fair. Your faces are too funny. I'm just trying to look as ugly as Mr. Backer. <laughs> Again. Dear Sir, I'm excited to inform you I have found the perfect child to test my new method of teaching. This will finalise the practical side of my study and put weight to my thesis. Yours sincerely, Hans Backer. Hmm. Now, if I could just teach her alone. Hmm? Oh. Sebastian, Dessa! Yes, sir. The mouse. It was in the music room, and I saw it run in the hall. It can't be far. Oh, I'll be on my way, Mr. Sesame. Is something wrong? We have a mouse in the house, and we're trying to catch it. Oh! Oh! I'd help you find it, but I really need to leave for my next class now. But of course, Mr. Bagger, and there's no need for you to help. Ooh. We'll find this mouse soon enough. See you tomorrow. I think Mr. Bagger is rather afraid of mice. He's only running late. Stop picking on him like that. Huh? Now, to the pièce de résistance, Heidi. Pièce de what? <laughs> <laughs> the main part of you impressing Mr. Backer in the morning. <laughs> what is it? You're going to learn the alphabet. The alphabet? But I can't. It's too difficult, Clara. You made me stand when I thought my legs were too frail. And I did it. I know you can do the same with the alphabet. Oh, and it's alphabet. Not alphabet. Al -fa bet This one you know. A. And then it's B, C, D. A, B, C, D. X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. That's it. Was that so difficult? <laughs> Um, no. All right. Now, on your own. A, D, E, G? No, Heidi. Look, this one is the A. That's correct, but the next one, it's got two bellies. It's a B. Mm. They all look the same to me, Clara. I never get it. So, which one is that? Uh, a, a bee? Yes, that's it. It's a bee. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'll be in the library. 
Please get the girls for their class, will you? Right away, sir. Oh, and be careful, sir. What? Uh, we haven't found the mouse yet, sir. It might be in the library. No! <laughs> Come in. Mr. Backer is here. Are you going to be all right? I hope so. I really don't want to be separated from you for most of the day. Me either. I really hope it's going to work. Time to go, miss. Yes, Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. D, E, F, G. Hmm? <laughs> Come here. I'm going to free you. You'll be better off outside. Adelaide! Mr. Backer <gasps> is waiting for you. I'm coming, miss. Don't make a sound. If she finds you, we'll be in big trouble. Being late won't help you learn, Adelaide. Hurry now. Yes, miss. Oh! This mouse must be close. <gasps> oh. Oh. Where are you going? Huh? The library is that way. Uh, I just need to... Oh, you just need to go to the library and start your class, Adelaide. Yes, miss. Oh. We need to find this creature. Sebastian! that you learned yesterday comes the... B, sir? That's right. B. Uh, do you know what comes next, Heidi? C, D, F, um, no, E, F, G, K, no, no, J, I, Mr. Becker, could I? <gasps> no! Oh, the mouse! Oh, oh the mouse! Oh, oh, no, get it away! Oh, Stop oh, jumping oh, around, oh, Mr. Becker. Oh, no You're frightening no it. Oh, oh, the mouse! What is this about? Uh, the mouse! Uh, Heidi brought the mouse to class! <gasps> I can catch it. It's okay, little mouse. We won't hurt you. Come here. <gasps> can I take it outside and let it go? <laughs> Better off outside. And don't come back inside, okay? Clara, Heidi, I'm sorry to say that today's events didn't go as planned. And beyond that, I think it is best that you both benefit from Mr. Backer's undivided attention. That means you're going to have different classes. We're going to be separated. Clara will have her usual class in the morning, and you, Adelaide, you will learn in the afternoon. So, when are we going to be together? You'll have meals together, and the end of the afternoon after Heidi's class. It's for the best, my dears. Come on, let's see if Detta has some cake for afternoon tea. Well, you're in for some hard work. Almost impossible. Quite the contrary. Now that I'll have Heidi on her own, I'm sure I can teach her how to read with my own special method. <laughs> I'm writing a thesis, you know. 
Oh, I can promise you I will do so in just a month. A month? <laughs> Impossible. Take my word for it, Miss Rottenmeyer. This little girl will read before winter is on us. Sebastian, would you please tell Detta that our night at the opera is definitely on? Next week, she should wear her best dress. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Clara, darling, you be good while I'm away. I promise I'll be back before you know it. And Grandmama will be here soon, too. Now, Heidi, I'm counting on you to work hard, so when I come back, you can join Clara in the same class. <gasps> really? But of course, Heidi. If you work hard, you're always rewarded. <laughs>